A trial in Devon claims to have found a way of controlling TB on chronically infected farms without culling badgers. Farmer Robert Reed and his vet Dick Sibley have discovered infected cows are shedding the disease in their dung. They've spent the last three years introducing a raft of biocontrol measures and the farm is now clear of TB for the first time in years. Anna Vahl has been to see how it works. This dairy farm has been badly affected with TB. It's lost more than 100 cows to the disease and has been persistently infected for more than five years. Currently, badgers are blamed for helping spread TB and there's a culling programme. But a new trial on this farm seems to be proving there's a bigger problem. What we've discovered is that a significant number of these cows are shedding the organism in their dung at a very high rate and that creates the reservoir of infection. So that small amount is enough to infect another cow yep. or the herd? Yep. Um, another cow, certainly. In theory, if contaminated slurry is infecting other cows, then simply culling badgers won't solve the problem. But cleaner farms might. Everything on this farm now is aimed at keeping the food, the water and the environment clean so that these beautiful cows do not eat tuberculosis. Water troughs are raised to avoid contamination. There's rubber floored so maternity are, pens for carving, uh, automatic floors. scrapers to clean the floors. Slurry is ploughed into arable land instead of grazing fields and dedicated tractors are used to feed the cows. After all these measures, this farm is now officially TB free. We just want to turn around and, and you know, advance what we're doing so that we can roll it out for other people. You know, it, it, you know, there's definitely something there and we need to roll it out. We need to be able to use something like what we're doing for other farmers. This is only one trial, but the Welsh Government is supporting plans for a much larger trial. It's now about getting the funding. Here, ministers say no one measure will eradicate the disease and further research is needed. Annaval, BBC Spotlight, Seaton in Devon.